pail might have something that would interest some of you. We've got a basic bedini set up here. Um, same circuit I've been using for years. Uh, I've got a VCR head, I've got a little uh, piece of wood, and a couple of um, speaker magnets on there. And I, I've got a, an extra coil here for something else. It's, it does nothing. It's an empty, there's no core in that or anything. Um, and this is pulling, it's, it's a bit bouncy, probably can't see that, but up to maybe 125 milliamps. This is a hefty rotor here. And um, to give you a speed check on that. That's 602. Yeah. Sitting right in there. So, 602. Um, I'm not going to touch the resistor. I'm going to leave that exactly where it is. No voltage change, anything. It's coming off my house system, so the battery bank's fairly stable. Pull the power off of this um, and let this spin down. I'd love to slow it down with my hand, but I don't want to lose a finger. Like I said, it's, it's pretty hefty. Let me slow it down slightly. Um, so, the point of this is that it's got a bit of torque that I have these taped in position okay now these are mounted just a second I'll show you they're mounted on bearings so slice peel that off Peel that off. Okay. So, as you can see, these are free to spin. That one's got a nice chip in it. So, obviously, here's a piece of tape, so you can see, as this arm swings in, the magnet's going to be drawn to the core. And is free to spin out of the way. Now this isn't this isn't centered in any particular way under or over the core for the Bedini motor or the yeah the coil there. But you can see that it well, swings around with it. Not a lot, but when you're spinning at 600 plus RPM this way and these are spinning the other way let's see what effect that has I'm going to plug this in start it up and remember 602 was the uh, RPM before I'm gonna let this spin up it'll take a few minutes and uh, then we'll check it again see if there's any difference Okay, so a couple minutes later, this is spun up, take an RPM reading, we have 647, yeah, and climbing. So, the only difference is that I have untethered the magnets so that they're free to rotate as the arm comes around and they come towards the core. They rotate this way and so the core isn't releasing until the the bar is past the core and doesn't look like I'm pulling any more amperage uh, the meters way jumpy and it does seem to fluctuate up and down it's got a little vibratory thing of its own um, well, what we got there 657 and climbing 658 and all I did, again, was untether those so that they're free to rotate on their own axis as this is spinning about its axis. I didn't, um, didn't mess with the resistance or anything else. So, uh, at least 50 more RPM. Uh, quick check, 661. So, that's it. Uh, seems like maybe a little more efficiency in some ways. 
uh, simply by allowing that magnet to spin separately from the center axis. And uh, that's it. Food for thought, guys. Cheers.